taking you through a few kettlebell warm-up exercises that you can do before you get started with your kettlebell workout. Start standing tall and then reach down to touch the ground without bending your legs. Walk yourself out to a push-up position and then tap the kettlebell. Walk your hands back towards your feet trying to keep your legs as straight as possible and try to get your heels down to the ground. You can bend your knees slightly if you need assistance in getting down to the ground or back up. This is a fun one to get your heart rate up. The trick is to try not to knock over the kettlebell so you have to be light on your feet. Also try changing directions. This movement pattern will help to train your body for deadlifts. So you're going to get in that nice deadlift position with your feet shoulder width apart. Then you're going to hinge at the hips, reach down to touch the kettlebell, and then squeeze it to engage your lats. To get your body prepared for squats, we're going to do a couple of squat taps. Keep the weight in your heels, make sure that your knees aren't going past your toes, and have your feet at a comfortable width. Halos are going to help you with your shoulder mobility. Make sure that you go nice and slow and make sure to work through those areas that feel a little sticky is how I would call them. So just areas that feel like it's a little bit harder for you to get that kettlebell through. Try both directions. Kettlebell swings can be a great warm up if you plan on doing more advanced kettlebell swings during your workout or if you plan on swinging a heavier bell. 